because whoever guarantees me what is between his legs and I know that face is very good face. Do it again. Do it again. Let's do it again. They do not reject. No. No, sir. No, sir. This is the word of Allah. They cannot reject. Oh, are, there, are there fake Qurans? Uh, yeah. There are fake Qurans? Yeah, some people okay. make Qurans from so, their own. So, thank you for confirming for us there are fake Qurans. Isaac, the son of Abraham, married Rebecca at the age of three. Look at Allah! Let me show you actually what Allah looks like. I get that, I get that, I get your point. I get your point. It's me, it's me, it's me. And for those who are pregnant, their tomb is until they give birth. And whoever fears Allah, he will make him firm for his matter is. Can you tell me what kind of group of women the verse I read is talking about? Yeah, give me, give me the, those sep several dips. Verse 4. Oh, yeah. Those who are no longer expect menstruation amongst your women, yeah? So that could be someone who's like... Uh, your mom. Yeah, like older yeah. Right. yeah, so you wouldn't know if your mom's boobs are developed or not, but you know that well, your mom... Know, of course, you wouldn't know your mom's boobs are developed or not even when you were suckling that as a baby. You wouldn't know that. Yeah, you wouldn't know that. Of course you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that. Read the second part. If you don't, then their period is three months. Yeah? That's the age there, yeah? So what, why, why are you giving them three months? Age would have been the age why? Just in case of what? Okay, so three months, three months is to figure out if they are pregnant or not. Okay, and then? Okay, so who are those? So, is there a word, is there a different word called sex in Islam? or menstruation. They are different, isn't aren't they? Okay, so when it says, when it says, those who have not menstruated, so who are those people? Someone who hasn't menstruated yet. So who are they? No, 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 I'm not asking that. I'm asking, I haven't come to that part yet. It can be like a 15 year old and she hasn't had a period. Okay, or it can be three years old who haven't had her period. No, no, not really, because you can't marry a three year old. How do you know that? Well, because it's according to what we believe. You know that. According to know that. No, I don't. No, I don't know. Mr. Muslim, pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Sir, your prophet had a sex with a child, and now you are telling me he has respect to you. No, 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 no. no. So, here is the problem. Those who have not been straight again, tell me about that. You don't let me speak. Tell me. What? Who, who, Stop crying and then tell me. What this? What this? What? what how did you come to the conclusion? Yeah. This is not for three years old. What, you can't marry a three-year-old. Where does it say that? You probably got to go to the hadith. Show me. I'm not going to show you. Really, right? You haven't got time. You haven't got time for for the here. comments you're of your Allah. About, you're saying, yeah, sir, that we have, that sir, you, have a you sex don't have a time. Child. You don't have a sex with a child. Here is the verse, Surah 65, verse 4. You are divorcing them. Those who are not believing yet, you had sex with them, and now you are divorcing them. And not only you are divorcing them, you are giving them three months to figure out if they are pregnant or not. Is that acceptable? Sir, is that acceptable? Is it acceptable to have sex with a child who is not believing yet? Is it acceptable to have a sex with a child who is not believing yet? Who is not having her periods yet? No? So what would you say to someone who orders you to have sex with a child? A child in my definition. Doesn't matter where is it, what would you say to that person? Would you call police on him? Would you call the police if you see this gentleman, sorry I'm going to use you as a guinea pig, this gentleman is having sex with a three years old child? No. I think That's wrong. not funny. Would you call the police for it? Well, well, I mean, the question sounds okay, but I mean, nobody would have such a 
that's not my question. Uh -huh. Would you call the police for it? And what if there is no police? It's a very different question, clearly. Would you call the police if, you, if your brother is having sex with your three years old daughter? Sorry? Yeah. You would call police on your brother who is having sex with your three years old child. Yes. Yes, why? So what's the point of No, no, why would you call? No, I don't want to be questioned. Why would you call the police on your brother who is having sex with a child? I don't want to be questioned. You don't want to be questioned. Give me the point. Give me the point. Let me give you the point. Let me give you the point. Man called Mohammed. Man called Mohammed. He says police and FBI be upon him. Today is identified as a prophet for Muslims. His God is ordering you to have sex with the kids who are not believing yet and divorce them. Uh -huh. so, Three years old? Those, those ones who are not believing yet. Those ones who are not believing yet. The ones you would call your the ones when you saw your brother is having sex with your child, you would call the police on. You're always I telling you. I don't understand your point right now. Could you please state clearly what you want me to say? Okay, you don't understand my point. Yeah. Let's try that with a different English. Yeah. Sir, how old are you? He's 40. Okay, he's in his 40s. If this gentleman is having sex with your daughter, yeah. your daughter is only three years old, would you call the police? Yeah. Yes, why? Well, it's a crime. It's a crime? Yeah. Okay. Because old guy is having sex with a child. That's a crime. Yeah. Well, the law says it is a crime. Law says it's a yeah. crime. So, here is what Allah is saying. You yeah. know, have you heard someone called Allah? No. Allah is the God of Muslims. Okay, I thought of a humanity, yeah. But what is your religion, sir? What? Sorry? What is your religion? A humanity. Humanity. Yeah. Keep away from Islam. That's the very basic you are learning now. Sorry? So God of Islam, yeah. God of Islam is telling you, you can divorce the ones who are not believing yet. Uh, the Allah says that? Yeah, Allah says Where that. Where is that? Surah 65 verse 4. Are you sure you are humanist because four. you look like Muslim? Number four? Yes, number four. You are saying that it, uh, you divorce those who are not Muslims? It is talking about uh, divorcing the girls who are not believing yet. So when your child, when your brother is having sex with your daughter who is three years old under the label of marriage. Uh, number four doesn't say what you are saying. What does it say? Have you read no, I'm not talking about that. Have you read the Arabic? She has read the Arabic. She's lying. I can you show you the Arabic. Do you want to see the Arabic? Something or to confuse me? No, no, you tell me. Tell yeah. me what does it say? It says, and those who no longer expect menstruation among your women, if you doubt, then their period is three months. Okay, okay, who are those women? Wait a minute. So, who are those women? Have you read the Arabic? No, no. Let me finish. Okay, I will finish. Okay. I don't know the Arabic. Yeah. And those who no longer accept menstruation among you, yeah, they don't expect. Okay, if you doubt, then you will be a month. And also for those who have not menstruation, and for those who are the pregnant. Yeah, what's the problem with them? Their pain is until they give pain. Okay. And whoever feels Allah, who will need for him, of his matter is. So, what's it? It's, it's a guidance or something. So, so it that it is talking about, it is talking about the woman, no, it is talking no, no. about the woman That's who are old, they are not having periods anymore. Correct? Let me explain what I have and explain, explain it, it to doesn't me. say anything about the age. Okay. Yeah. So what does it because say? You about Explain that. it to me. What does Listen, it say? Please. You mentioned something about the age and the three years old. It has nothing to do with the age. Explain it to me. What does it I say? I don't know. I just read it. So you just read it and you didn't understand what yeah, you read. So ma'am, I look at you. I look like you are a woman. Correct? Yes. Last time when you checked, were you a woman or not? Yes. I'm okay. Sorry. So help me out. What kind of woman doesn't have their menstruation anymore? Menopause for a woman, so what, woman. Is, what is that menopause means? Like, like a woman of age, elderly, older generation. They are 70, yeah. 80? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what, what about those who are not having their menstruation?
menstruation yet. Who are those? They're in a cell. They're, They're children. children. They're young. They are children. They're children. Are you sure? Oh, there is nothing called yet. Sorry, one bite. I'm talking. Are you sure? Yes. So it says you are a woman. So I'm asking the woman because it seems you don't know no, biology. Language have no gender in understanding. It's not. It's, I know. Allah is very good communicator. Okay. Allah communicates very well. Yeah. So. Those who no longer expect menstruation among your woman, if you doubt, then their period is three months. Okay? Yeah, yeah, so no, I when, that. so yeah. when your 70 years old mom yes. is not bleeding anymore, yes. then you divorce them, give them, give them three months to figure out if they are pregnant or not. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Correct? To confirm, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now you agree with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank no, you. I agree with the statement. Okay, okay. now. Then it says, and those who have not menstruated. So who are those? So now you've got women who are in age 60, 70, and then ones who are not bleeding yet. How old are they? Well, I understand your point. No, no, just tell me what is my point that you are understanding. Your point that have no menstruation, something like that? Yeah. So yeah. the ones who are not bleeding once a month. Okay, are you married? No. Have you ever been married? No, I'm trying to understand the point, forget about me. Okay. Well, tell me, what is this group of people? Who are those people who are not believing anymore? I understand, I agree with you with the first two lines. Okay, what about the second one? The second one, those who have not menstruated. Yeah. Do you speak Arabic? Yeah, what to do with them? Do you speak Arabic? What to do with them? What to do so, with them? So, when you divorce them, you give them three months. Even those who have not uh, uh, menstruated yet. Okay. Okay, so who are those who are not menstruated yet? So the, what's the difference between the first category first and one the is, second? First one is woman in your age. Yes. Woman in my age. I woman in her months. age. Yeah. Give it three months. Yeah, because I'm not bleeding anymore, okay? Yeah. Or woman in age of your mother, okay? And then other one is... Yeah. They are the ones you take to the park. They are the yeah. children who are not bleeding yet because yeah. they are not grown yet. Okay? Okay. So you, you are giving them three months yeah. to figure out if they are pregnant or not. Okay. So if you are still saying okay, that means there is a problem. Yeah. What is the problem? Well, you explain to me. No, no. Are you understanding what I'm saying to you? Yes. That the so one what is the problem? The one that who has no menstruation, you give them three months as well. Yeah. Yeah. But why to give them three months? To figure out if they are pregnant if or not. If they don't get menstruation, why to give them three months? Oh, well, that's the wisdom of Allah. Sorry? But that is the wisdom of Allah. Okay, the Allah is already making lots of problem over there. But my question is, the ones who are, who are not believing yet, okay, yeah. they are the, they are like children. They are the ones, as a father, you hold their in hand and then you take them to the park. They are the ones, they are the ones, you read them bedtime stories. They are just children who are playing with the dolls. No, I don't agree with you. You don't agree with me? Which part? No, because if they don't have menstruation, then there is no point in giving them the three month. Uh, okay, Allah, Allah makes a mistake. But Allah then makes a mistake. Then he's stupid. Allah is stupid, I know. Well, if this is your, your interpretation. Of it. Oh, well, this is word of Allah. Word of Allah doesn't need my interpretation. It and doesn't. by itself, it by itself, it stands out as stupid. I can't do much about it. Yeah. But, but my question to you yeah. is. When you call police upon your brother yeah. while your brother is having sex with a three years old child, yeah. okay? If you do that in Saudi Arabia, yeah. police will arrest you for, for uh, breaking the sex life of your brother with your daughter. I don't know. But it's I know the law here, criminal. Yes, in here it is criminal. Yeah. But in Muslim majority countries, in countries where people follow this book, and this book, they are the same, this is the Arabic version of this. Yeah. In Muslim majority countries, yeah. they are doing what Allah is saying. The gentlemen who run away from the conversation, yeah. apparently, since they're running away from the teachings of Allah. 
Uh-huh. Well, maybe running from you. Why would he run it from me? Because want to follow the conversation. Oh, well, he, I feel he, you are very judgmental, by the way. How can I be very judgmental? You don't he even know my left. favorite color. You just left. Don't, don't try to translate why he's doing So you, you saw he left? Yeah, he decided to leave. No, because, he, because he, noticed, he noticed his book is encouraging him to have no, sex not, with a child. Not, not only book. encourage, it is his book. No, it's not. He's a Muslim. No. How do you know he's not a Muslim? Just a big a book. He is a Muslim. It is his book, sir. Well, Maybe you identify yourself as non-Muslim, but you were defending what Allah was no, 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 saying. No, no, no. But yes, I I would agree in the bottom line. Not Allah's teachings are only stupid, but also His teachings are very dangerous to humanity. Keep away from the teachings of Allah. Yes, but it's good to be not to be selective. If you... How can you be selective? So. How can you be selective when you, when your God is ordering you to go? No, not my God. Ordering God. you. Allah is not my God. Excuse okay, me. That's fine. That's good. We are in agreement. God of Muslim people. Yeah. When the God of Muslim people is ordering them to go and have sex How with a child you know and then God divorce them. People? Because is this book called Quran, sir? Well, first of all, I'm not aware of, of, of a people called Muslims. Really? Where do you live? Yeah. Yeah, I live only in England. You live in England and you don't know who are the Muslims? You never I know Muslim, but not Muslim people, because I don't know Christian people, for example. So when you describe Muslim people, I don't know what you mean. It's okay, yeah. let me help I you out. Mean. It's confusing for me. Okay, so we don't know what is Muslim people. It's like, uh, Scottish people are Scottish. If they're Scottish and Christian or Scottish and Muslim, I that's what he's trying to say. Yeah? So, okay, I'm going to break it down, no worries. I'm going to break it down. So when I say Muslim people, well, I am talking Muslim. about I am talking about people, okay? Yeah. 21st century in England, protected by the Mr. Policeman. By, I, by the Mr. Policeman. Protected? Wow. Yeah. yeah I am talking yeah. about I am talking about, when I say Muslim people, I am talking about people who follow the book called Quran. And who follow man called Muhammad? Okay? So, as they you follow. follow Muhammad or the book? Both of them. Because the book is not Muhammad. Really? What is it? The book is not Muhammad? What let's see, let's see. Muhammad was a postman. Muhammad was what? He was a postman. Muhammad was a postman. He was a postman. Muhammad, Muhammad was a delivery guy. Muhammad is a delivery guy. What did Muhammad deliver? What did Muhammad give birth to? What did Muhammad deliver? Muhammad delivered so-called word of Allah. Muhammad give birth to word of Allah. Post male boy, post boy, pepper boy of Muhammad give birth to Quran. So let me let me back up what I that's okay. Let, let, it's absolutely fine, the speaker's gonna. But let me clarify for you. What did I mean when I say Muslim people? Under the Muslim people, I express people who follow the book called Quran and who follow the man called Muhammad are identified as Muslim. Yeah, and you follow, you, you follow, no, listen, I haven't finished, no, I haven't finished, I haven't, well, well, I will give well, you time, you will, I will give you time to link the, link no, my links. But your grounding is not correct. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, 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 this is Muhammad, this is not Muhammad. Listen, listen, no, Muhammad is not this. I said this is, what is this? Picture of Muhammad. So this is book called Quran. How do you know that he looks like that? Oh, he lost his two teeth. He lost his two holy teeth in the butter of butter. So, and he he chopped people's head off. Yeah, yeah for me, maybe not in six packs, but with the fat version of Muhammad. That's okay. So let me come to the verse. Focus. We did not send any messenger expect except to be obeyed by the permission of Allah. And if when they wrong themselves, they had come to you, O Muhammad, and ask forgiveness of Allah and the messenger, they come to you, O Muhammad, to ask forgiveness of Allah and the messenger had asked forgiveness for them. They would have found Allah accepting of repentance and merciful, but no, by your, your Lord, they will not 
believe until they will not believe until they make you judge concerning that over which they dispute among themselves and then find within themselves no discomfort from what you have judged and summit in full submission. <laughs> Definition of Muslim people according to their holy book is full submission to Allah and full submission to Muhammad. So when I say Muslim people, I am talking about people who submit to Allah and who submit to Muhammad. No. And also, that's what I am talking about because that's what Quran is talking about. Why is not? Uh, the submission to Allah shouldn't be linked to submission to Muhammad. And Muhammad is different from this. Re read it, read it for me. Yeah. Uh, this is a story. This is not a story. This is the so-called word of Allah, postman Muhammad brought to the world. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying here. You shouldn't be selective. This is a story. Context is specific. You understand what is the context? The I don't know. You don't know. But you understand? I hate you. Yeah. The things you don't know, when you don't know, when you have doubt, you go to the people of the book. But you don't so know. I am the people of the book. Yeah. I will tell you what Allah knows. You are the people of the book? I will tell you what Allah knows. What is the people of the book? But no, but no, yeah. by your Lord, they will not truly believe until they make you judge concerning that over which they dispute among themselves. Then find within themselves no discomfort from what you have judged and summit in, in full submission. Definition of the Muslim people are the ones who submit to Allah and who submit to Muhammad in sinfulness. That is the Quran definition of Allah. Sorry, Quran definition of Muslim people. And also, it is very easy to identify Muslim people today. Just turn on the TV, look at the yesterday news, what they did 20 years ago. Took the life of 3,000 people. Last 20 years, in the name of Allah, those people who scream out as Allah Akbar verses, take the li took the life of approximately 40,000 people. That's what I say when I say Muslim people, that's whom I mean. Do you have a problem with them? I don't think that it makes sense to call the religion followers people, no. As you identify yourself as a humanist, yeah. By default, I'm guessing you don't believe in Allah. You don't believe in Muhammad. When Islam comes and takes over, watch out. Because they will come after you. They will come after all of us who do not accept Allah and Muhammad. They will come for all of us who doesn't accept Allah as God and who doesn't obey Muhammad. They will come for all of you. That even will be Mr. Policeman. And that will be people today who justifies that child marriage. Watch out, sir. Nothing is not going to help you on that day. Nothing is not going to help you on that day. Let me give you another beautiful reference for you. Who are the Muslim people? Muslim people. It is not for a believing man or a believing woman when Allah and his messenger have decided a matter that they should have no choice about their affair. And whatever, whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger has certainly strayed into clear, clear error. If you are Muslim, what makes you Muslim? Allah and Muhammad. Having full submission, having full uh, obedience to their message, that makes you Muslim. So, at this stage, if you still have no problem with Mr. Muslims or people who follow the ideology of Islam, it is time for you to have problem now. Because you are still breathing, you could do something. You could stop next 9-11. You could stop, you could stop. Next, Mr. Muslims who are going to take the life of others. But for that, first, the problem needs to be identified. And identifying problem 
does not mean simply coming alongside and saying, I am very proud that my prophet had sex with a child, or I will have sex with a child too. Those are the things that people are proud of, shouldn't be proud of. And especially if you are living in UK, you shouldn't be proud of at all. Very much disturbing. Silent comes alongside of giving consent in this occasion, and that is already double disturbing. Do you, do you give that, those things about your prophet? No? You don't even give those things about your prophet? That's disturbing by itself. But let's let's bring a couple of verses to our attention which I was going to bring. To make sure to make sure you are all very much concerned for it. When you get past the train adverts, you get to sneak and put videos on. Then invaluable months have passed. Then kill the politist wherever you find them and capture them and beseech them and sit in wait for them at every place of ambush. It's not only you go and attack them, you also wait for them to pass through so that you can attack them. That magical verse comes from the book called Quran. It comes from a book called Quran. Today, we should be all very much concerned because 1.8 billion people claiming to follow this book. 1.8 billion of them. That's a lot of number. That's a lot of people. But in this occasion, it is not about the numbers. It takes only 20 people to kill 3,000 people. 20 people to 3,000 people. It's not about how many are there. It is about they are there. They are there. They are there. And they are there to do what? Towards the politics. I haven't even come to the Christians. They are there towards politics. To kill them wherever they find you, capture you, beseech you, and sit in wait for you at every place of ambush. And that is coming to your next door. That is coming to your next door. Those who do not believe in Allah. Son, into 
Christ! Great Kudum Tall, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords! Do you think COVID is going to hold Lord Jesus Christ? Great Kudum hold him! Do you think your mask is going to hold Lord Jesus Christ? Nothing can hold the King of Kings! Nothing can hold the eternal Word of God! I am not Muhammad! I am not Muhammad! Allah is a liar! Muhammad is a liar! Sir, why, Allah, why did Allah lie to Muhammad? 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 Since 
this man, Islam, is an ideology. As an ideology, is a race. Don't play that race card with me. It doesn't work on me, sir. It doesn't work. Islam is not a race. Muslims are not a race. It is a belief. People who follow this book, this book, which little bit earlier, people identify the stupid book. People follow this book, they should be racist. This book identifies me as the worst of creatures. I think that is very racist towards me. That's very racist. Your presence is causing offense to me. That's the level you have. That's the level you have. People are people are identifying individuals who critic Islam as a racist. Let's deal. What is racist? They who disbelieve among the people of the scripture and the polities will be in hellfire, abandoning eternally therein. Those are the worst of creatures. Do you believe in Muhammad? No. You are worst of creatures. No. Thank you. Do you believe in Muhammad? You are worst of creatures. Thank you. Do you believe in Muhammad? Yes. So you are not worst of creatures. That is a race. That this book spreading hate towards this lady, towards this gentleman, and towards me by this gentleman. This book is identifying me as the worst of creatures. Doesn't even know what is my favorite book. Doesn't even know what is my favorite color. Doesn't even know what is my favorite food. But identifying me as the worst of creature. This lady looks beautiful. Ma'am, do you believe do you believe in Allah? Do you believe in Muhammad? This book identifies you, even you look very pretty, as the worst of creatures. And this is the book of Islam. Book of Islam is full of hate. Full of hate. And that's the level you get. That's the level you get. Not only full of hate, but when that hate becomes into action, it takes the life of people. When that hate, when that hate takes into action, your loved ones are dead. When that hate takes into action, your sister is dead. When that hate takes into action, you yourself is dead. Why? Because followers of this book is in action. But of course, of course, they are the poor Muslims who are being persecuted. So persecuted. So persecuted. Without any shame, they would go on the television and cry that they have been persecuted since 9-11. Don't throw me things. Don't throw me things. Grow up, sir. Don't throw me things. Muslims are throwing things to you now. Why? Because it is very beautiful ideology. They can they think they can throw things to your speakers corner. Disgraceful. That's racist. According to their criteria, that is racist. But let me tell you something. Something to the Christians and Jews who should be, who should be very much concerned. What does teachings of this book is telling you? Mary wasn't 12, sir. Where does it say that? According to authentic narration, Mary was 12. Which is story? Mary was married at the age of 12. According to where? Give me the reference. What is the free Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Are you lying because your prophet is a liar? Are you lying because your Allah is a liar? Muslims are telling us Mary was 12 years old when she married to justify man called Muhammad in his 50s when he climbed the top of a chair.
child, Muhammad, when he was 54 years old. This is not Muhammad who lives here next door. Maybe it's the same Muhammad, but this is the Muhammad whom I identified as the prophet of Islam. When he was 54 years old, he had sex with a girl who was nine years old. He had a sex with a girl. She was only nine years old. And today, Muslim thinks 12 and 9 is the same thing. Even according to maths, 12 and 9 are different numbers. But we don't know how old was Mary because Bible doesn't tell us. Bible identifies Mary as a young woman. Bible doesn't tell us. Bible doesn't tell us Mary was 12. Stop lying. I know. I know Allah was a liar. I know Muhammad was a liar. But you can. You have chance to be better from them. You can be better. You can do better. Sorry, brother. What did you say? Yeah. Not only Mary wasn't 12. Even according to Islam, Mr. Muslim, Mary was virgin when she gave birth to the eternal Son of God. Yeah, they're throwing things on. That's fine. So, why would Muslims attack Mary, mother of Lord Jesus Christ, to justify what Muhammad did to a child? Because you all know having sex with a child is wrong unless you are Muslim. <laughs> Sir, would you have sex with a child? Sorry? Would you have sex with a child? Sex for the child? I don't understand. Would you have sex with a child? I don't understand the question. But would I see Charlie Hebdo. You support Charlie Hebdo? I don't support Charlie Hebdo. I support Charlie Hebdo. That's okay. It's a freedom of speech. It's a freedom to blaspheme. It's very important to be able to make blasphemy uh, statements against any religion. It's very important to be able not to attack the important. people who are the followers. It is but important to critic the ideologies. It is important yeah. to have debates and discussions. Religion is an ideology. Yeah. So it's so, important to Now let me ask you the question. You are from France? Belgium. Belgium. How old are you? Wow, 40, 52. 52? <laughs> I don't think he's your type, sir. So, as a 52 years old man, if you see, okay, sir, how old are you? 62. 62. If you, you see. You look younger than me. If you see this gentleman is having sex with three years old child or six years old child, okay. what would you do? I will stop him, I will eat him, and I will call the police. You would call the police, you would stop him, and then you would eat him. I don't know if I will eat him, but I will yeah, I got stop that. this. Uh, you got you stop that. Okay, what would you do, sir, if you see this 52 years old man is having sex with a child? Oh, stop it completely. I have five girls, and I raised all of them. And if a... You if a man, if a, if a man, if a man we need to protect just looked at my six-year-old too long, you eat him. So, what would you say to ideology, okay, which caused Charlie Hebdo to be killed? What would you say to that ideology if it is ordering, if it is ordering for men not only have sex with a child, but even men? You need to How do you stop this. it? By laws, we are state of rule of law. So you put laws and you apply the laws. You said you are from Belgium? Yeah. Don't you have Muslims in there? In Belgium, you cannot do this. Do you That's have Muslims in Belgium? In Brussels, 40% of the population, I'm living in Brussels, 40% of the population is Muslim. So, 40% of the population is Muslim. I read they, what their book is telling you. I know, I know this. But I have friends who are Muslims, I'm and they don't, they don't apply this literally. In every religion, if you apply literally Judaism, Christianism, or, so, or Islam, you, if you apply literally, you will kill your neighbor. Listen, you, listen, you need to take this listen, case. listen, listen. And those who no longer expect menstruation among your woman, that's like your mother, okay? If you doubt that.
then their period is three months. So when you divorce them, when your mom is being divorced, she needs to wait for three months to remarry because in that three months, she's not believing now. They need to figure out if she's pregnant or not. Okay? And those, also for those who have not menstruated. Okay. No. So who is Reach. not menstruating? Okay. The word, the word so who are those Reach menstruation? Who are, Let me have look at who are those Let people me have who are not believing in Young girl. Young girl. Okay. So it is saying you can, you can okay. but divorce but them okay. but and then you can That's divorce the them yeah. and then give them three months okay. of waiting. So you've got forty percent of Muslims. You cannot apply this literally. Those people who apply this literally, they are crazy people. You need to stop them. That's, and that that man called Muhammad, the, whom Muslims in, in want to follow. Country in the Western world, and that's what is so important. In the Western world, the rule of law is stronger than any rules of any religion. That's why it's so important to be able to make blasphemy. Because religion is not at the same level than the laws, than the British laws, than the French laws, than the Belgian laws, than the US laws, than the laws of the Western world. That's why so much people come to take refuge in our country. I don't see so much people so they, going to they take come, refuge listen, in listen. Afghanistan. Let the, let the, they come here. Let me help you there. with something. Let me help you with something. But I'm very sorry, but I might train to go back to Brussels. So I have to go now. Okay. But, uh, let me just give one sentence to you, okay? You can justify this by looking at your Muslim friends and then say they must leave that where it is belong to. Listen, that. they don't reject. They, reject they do that. not they reject. reject. No, they fight no them. sir, no sir. This is the word of Allah. They cannot reject. Okay. When people came from Afghanistan, listen, listen. they brought Those with them people, yes. their child brides. Okay. Okay, they listen, brought listen. with them I'm their Jewish. child okay. brides. No, 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 no. Do you think that as a Jew, sir, I listen. follow literally? The listen, Bible? No. listen, listen, that's your fault. That's your but fault. That is your fault. I don't want. Here's the thing. Your and mind. Ninety nine percent of Jews don't apply literally. Your mind is not the mind of Muslims. Muslims are go I and tell Muslims. Have, go and tell that lady. Look, there is a Muslim lady. Not only one. Go and lot tell them to say with, throw the bird of Allah in the bin. Literally. Go and tell them to throw this into bin. Go and tell them. Some of them. Go and tell them. Some of them. It took but only yeah. it took only handful Muslims okay, so to we kill need to fight back. three thousand people twenty years ago. Handful of them. It takes only one person to chop your head off. Take so one person. You it took, it you took are, you are one person to take the head off. Take the head off a teacher. It took a Muslim law to put the teacher into the hiding place. It's not about how many are following or how many are not following. Ideology is there and very much dangerous. Run away from that ideology. Women should be raped in your book. I'm going to show you the message. Women should be raped in your book. You want me to show you? You want me to show you? Would you have sex any with a child? Any your book, I'm Muslim. That's the question I'm asking. I'm, I'm, Would you have sex with a child? Isaac, I have sex with Rebecca, it's over three. Would you? In your Bible. Would you have read sex read with read a child? Read it. That's the question Abraham, I'm asking. Abraham's Would you daughter. have sex with a child? Like who? Would you have sex with a child? Like who? I don't know. The Bible says you should have... Would you have sex with a child? If you go to war, Why are the you running to Bible? If you go to Why are Bible? you running to Bible? I am asking oh, simple yeah, question. Simple question, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. How are you going to know someone's a virgin? How are you going to know someone's a virgin? It depends. You have to rape them. How are you going to know someone's a virgin? You have to rape them. It depends on the kind of access. Genesis 38. So don't try. Rebecca, Rebecca has been married at the age of three. You don't even know enough. Your present is causing me stress. Your presence is causing me stress. Two women have sex. Go back and the man like who they have sex. They are man who are woman is like 14 years old, she looks like 30. She has a, like, she's a grown woman. Like, like, give, me, give me an example. Donkeys, as the people three, in the Bible. Like, Genesis 38, read Genesis 38. Ezekiel 33. Read, your book uh, is full of pornography. What do you mean, give me an example? Give me an example. Uh, what, Prophet Muhammad's wife, she was 14, he married her. Which, which one? I don't remember. Aisha? I don't remember. 
So, Mohammed married someone when she was 14. Yeah. Okay. So, how is that has to do with my statement on would you have sex with a child? Huh? When I asked the question, would you have sex with a child? You say depend on the time. But nowadays, no, because she's so. so nowadays, you can't. Yeah. Why? Because she, she, her body is not mature. Not so mature. her body is not developed. Yeah. Give me the developed body version. What kind of body would you have sex with? Give me, what does that mean? What do you what you talking about? What, 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 does, what does that look like? How can I explain it? It's the half wrong body, that's what it is. Would she, today, would she be like seven years old? Would she have sex with someone who is seven today? No. Would she have sex with someone who is 25? Yeah. Yes. Would she have sex with someone who is three? Three, no. Would she have sex with someone who is 25? Yeah. Would she have sex with someone who is six? No. Would she have sex with someone who is 18? Huh? 18? 18, yeah. Yes, okay. Because in 18 years old now, she has a mature body, but in the past, woman when she is 14 years old, she has a mature body, that's what I mean. So, in 700, woman who is 40 years old had a much um, developed body, therefore it is okay to have sex. Yeah. Okay? What about in 1400 years ago, okay, someone who was only 9 years old? 9 years old? No. No. So, if you saw 14 years ago, someone, let's say, this gentleman 14 years ago, 1400 years ago, having sex with 9 years old, what would you do? Um, you would stop him. You would stop him? Yeah. Would, today, would you call police? Yeah, today I would call the police. So, so, in 7th century, you would stop him, today you would call the police. Yeah, that's, okay? That's Are you Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim. Okay. When you are Arab or Chinese, oh, are there fake Qurans? Oh, are there fake Qurans? Ah, uh, yeah. There are fake Qurans. Yeah, some people okay. make Qurans for so, their own. So, thank you for confirming for us there are fake Qurans. Like I can make a Bible by myself. That's you can't you can make a Bible by yourself, sir. Okay. So, let me... Let me read you something. Uh, thank you. We are talking as soon as they make Rebecca is three. Someone read the Bible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So they just they just look at the age. So as once 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 you want to give your attention back, I'm gonna bring you something. Go on feelings and emotion of the day. So now we are waiting for Muslims to have their Muslim brother. Once that finishes, we will deal with certain things. Okay, have you done it? Say it again. Yeah, you're looking, you're looking for what is your name? Not there. What is your name? I don't want to give you the call. You're you you still okay. okay. oh. Come and read this with me. Come and read this with me. Genesis, 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 Genesis 24. Sahih Bukhari. Okay. Go and leave this book. 3,800. That's even pornography in, in, in your church. Okay. You want videos? Khatija died church full three of years before in England. Muhammad departed to Medina. He stayed there for two years okay. and so then he Worry. wrote the marriage what about the Quran? contract with Aisha uh -huh. when she was a girl yes. of six years okay. old. Okay. No, and listen, 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 listen. listen. That's consummated no, marriage no, 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 when she was nine years old. Listen, listen. Why do you think this is lie? Genesis 20, 24. Sorry, why do, you think, why do you think it is you know, lie? Rebecca. No one said that. Where's Isaac, the Isaac married Rebecca at your three. Sorry, is here. sorry. In your Bible. Sorry. In your Bible, sir. the woman is married at the age of three. Sir, why do Don't you lie. lie? Why are you lying? Look at this stupid woman. Do Don't lie. lie. What's going on? Age of three. Why do you think this Rebecca is married at the age of three. Is here in your book, Genesis 24. Genesis 24, read it. Not from any website. Read Genesis 24. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you from the... Is Arabic your mother tongue? Is Arabic your mother tongue? I'll show you the Arabic. Genesis 24. Come and I'll show you the Arabic. Chapter 29. He said that she was in Are you Sunni Muslim or are you Shia Muslim? You are Sunni Muslim, okay. 
Judah has okay, taken so his here, own law. I've got the Arabic. From where, from where Jesus was born. As well as I've got Judah. the... As, 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 sorry, hey, I think he doesn't want to go. Here, I don't know why. Pornography full in your book. Here is the Arabic for you. Pornography folio. full in your book. Here is the Arabic for you. Can you read? Don't lie. Can you don't even know Arabic. And you are, you are making nonsense. Understand. You just came to can fool you yourself here. You are not going to understand it. Don't read. Okay, hey, listen. Read she knows who pe people that she's looking for. Come and debate with me. Come and debate with me, madam. Debate with me. Get on the line. Get on the line. Debate with me. Get on the line. I'll talk to you. Get it 24. I'll talk to you. Pornography. Pornography in your book. Pornography in your book, Bible. There's no pornography in the Quran. Pornography in your book. There is 38. They say that they are spam. That's a lie. So you read Arabic and you do it a lie. You just translate it. No, this is Arabic. It is. Look, it says Sahih Bukhari. Five thousand one hundred thirty-four is the Hadith number. What they teach us in the school? They say she was fourteen. Okay, that's different. Like they teach you at school, something is different. That's very different than what the original sources are saying. You don't have to attack Islam. But you have a problem with that. You don't have to attack Islam. You have a problem with that. How could you know? You don't have to attack Islam. Sorry. How could you know this is the original? Sorry. Because it already gives you the reference. Read the book, the Sahih Bukhari book. Sir, I want to check it on the Sahih Bukhari. So this is website put together by Muslims. Okay. Why would they lie about the age of mother of the believers? Why? Aisha is Aisha herself. And then I can show you other, other hadiths as well. That Aisha herself tells you that um, she was only six years old. Last one. Can I read in the hadith what you said? Just a moment. Can I just, just receive the hadith? Yeah, just Madam, yeah, yeah, yeah. pornography in your book. I'm coming so, to you. Show me the pornography in your book. So you are not saying the hadith. Okay. The book, the hadith book, so I can confirm. So, can you read it? Can you read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it for us. Read for everyone yes, to hear the word of Allah. I read it in English. This is wrong. It is wrong. Why? Yes, because she's uh, he can share and she is nine and he will marry her and eleven. This is wrong. How do you know this is wrong? Yes, because I show know the, I know all the hadith. So show me, show me okay, which hadith. hadith. I want to ask you. No, 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 no. Show me. Sir, you lied. You lied about the word of Muhammad. You lied about the word of Aisha. Now, step by step, back up your lies. Show me which hadith. You said you know all the hadith. Show me in which hadith that Aisha says she was eleven. I told you. Hey, okay. Which one? I cannot live. I cannot live this. Re reason, you know why? Because there are the followers of Islam is gay, coming after your children, coming after your kids. So, now, get on the line after your mother's skirt come out, we will discuss. Sir, you have a problem with that? Your, this brother is telling me actually Aisha was 11. Your teacher is telling you Aisha was 14. Oh. So which one is correct? Sahih Bukhari, Aisha is 6 to 9. Your brother Aisha is 11. Your teacher Aisha is 14. Which one? Listen, All of her, them are lying. He married her at 11, but he, did, he had sex Sorry. with her when she was 14. When did you get that? Huh? When did you get that? In my school. You just lied. Open the reference for me. Huh? Open the reference for me. Okay, do I have a book with me? Go to the Sheikh Google. Sir, go to the Sheikh Google. No, 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 no. no, no First, no, no. give me your Listen, reference. You, you Why ask, you are you so you. much liar? Why you are you so much liar? You, you, back up. You back up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. I care because there are children who are being abused by the followers of Islam. Okay, what do you believe? Therefore, I, I ask care. You, I, ask you, what I believe you Islam is false religion. Now, give you, me your reference. You give me your reference. No, no, no. What your religion? Even what he is believe? running away from its sources. I believe Islam is false religion. Give me your reference. Where, where, where? Give me your reference. Give me your reference. Give me your reference. You don't want to answer. Don't give me your reference. Talking. Give me your reference. So, I ask you what you believe. I just want what to identify you? something. Muslims are shame of their own hadith. Let me read the hadith to you. Aisha says, mother of the believers is speaking. Shush and listen. Aisha said that the prophet married her when she was six years old. And he consummated his marriage when she was nine years old. Someone who can talk about a marriage. Is this more than a day? Aisha was... Rebecca, three years. Rebecca, Rebecca, three years. According to your Bible, six years old. 
You want right to say to you? It was all right to climb top of her. Jesus was born from incest. Sin. Jesus was born from incest Sin. in your book. You want to show you? I ask questions. Jesus was born from incest. Islam. Do you want me to show you the verses? Is here. Do you want it? Do you want it? Please show me. Genesis 38. Show me to me. Genesis 38. Show me to me. Show me to me. For respect, sir. Show me to me. For respect, sir. Brother, brother, respect. Show me to me. Everyone should read. Show me to me. Genesis 38. Read it. Show me to me. Read it. Show. Oh, open it. I want. Just a moment before you read it. Before he reads it, I want everyone to spit on your prophet. Why? Yeah. Spit on. Spit on me. Spit on Muhammad. Why? Because your brother is lying. so much shamed of Muhammad. Why? Why? Jesus. Jesus has sex with Mary Magdalene. Jesus has sex with Mary Magdalene. Do what we tell you. Give me a reference. Give me a reference. Why Jesus had sex with Mary Magdalene? Why did Jesus had sex with Mary Magdalene? Okay. Listen. Listen. Yes. Give me the reference. Give me the reference. No, no, just give me. Let me no, tell you Jesus something. had sex with Mary Magdalene. Okay, okay. Jesus is not I, Muhammad. I, I Muhammad is pieces of something. Jesus is not Muhammad. Okay. Yes. That's one, just one. Let me get the reference, sir. My people. Let me. Let me get the reference. I want this woman to understand something. Listen to me carefully. I want everyone to hear the reference. Where Jesus had sex with the Mary Magdalene. Give me the reference. I will show you. Just, why, give me the reference. Is, 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 what's give that, me the reference. What's that? What's that? Give me the reference. No, what is this? What's this? Give me the reference. No, what's this? What you have here? I smell something. What's this? What is I'm this? smelling something. Perfect. I, I'm smelling something. Perfect. That seems a fear to me, sir. It smells very much I fear here. Read it, read it, read it, read it. I want you to give me the reference where Jesus Listen. had sex with In Mary time, Magdalene. Judah left his brothers and went down to stay with a name of Abdullah named Ira. Okay. Chapter 2. There Judah met the daughter of... I Anas asked the question. What was it? Where did you state it? Jesus had sex with Mary Magdalene. Hello? Give me the reference. I, give I am not I talking ask you about Jesus. Jesus. I ask you this oh, first. Sir, I ask you this one first. I want to repeat that to again. What Don't you? come close to me. Watch your hands. Who are you? My wife, my wife is better than you. Really? I cannot tell my son like you. Really? Sir, so, I'm telling you once again. Watch yes. your boundaries. Don't ever touch me. Don't touch me. Sir, so, no. Tell me. Where did Jesus have sex with Mary Magdalene? Read Genesis 8. Where did Jesus have sex with Mary Magdalene? Read Genesis 38. Lies and lies. Lies and lies. You know why Muslims are lying? You know why Muslims are lying? Because Allah is a liar. Because Muhammad is a liar. Therefore, Muslims are lying. There is nothing. Do the have sex with his own There is nowhere. There is nowhere. It says Jesus had sex with Mary Magdalene. Abraham have sex with his own sister. <laughs> Abraham have sex with his own sister. I got the Bible. I got the same Bible. I'll tell you something. Isaac, the son of Abraham, married Rebecca at the age of three. Look at Allah. Let me show you actually what Allah looks like. Let me show you. What Allah looks like. See how they look similar. See exactly the same. Exactly Allah. Allah is a liar. He's a liar. Your prophet is a liar. It is all full of lies. But Listen. let me deal with that. Let me deal with that. Muslim stated. Muslim stated. Jesus had a sex with Mary Magdalene. That is the reference. Muslims are liars. It speakers for no. Without any shame, they lie and they lie. And they think that's the right. See the sport as they are lying. Did you see the sport as they lie? Did you see the sport when Muslims bless the Lord Jesus Christ, who according to Islam is sinless? Muhammad's bones are shrinking and crushing. You wouldn't want to be Muhammad right now. Point two. Point two. 
Yeah. You worship man. Oh, is, you are saying that because Muhammad promised you paradise. You believe in the Bible. You believe in the Bible. Muhammad you believe in the Bible. Muhammad is eternal life. If you give him your private part, you believe in the Bible. Show me the Trinity. Show me the Trinity. He is the bottom one. He is the bottom one. Show me the Trinity. Show me the Trinity. He is the bottom one. 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 <laughs> are you bleeding? Are you bleeding? Or are you sucking something? Like you. It looks like you, it looks like like you, you just visited uh, Muhammad. It looks like you just visited Muhammad. Let me deal with certain things. Let me deal with certain things. When Muslim says Rebecca was free, this is the face you need to remember. Face of Allah as a liar. Face of Muslim as representative of their prophet. I find it very amazing that Muslims are laughing their prophet. Don't you think it is amazing that Muslims are right now crushing the bones of Muhammad? Why? Because they are ashamed what Muhammad did to Aisha. Because they are ashamed how Allah is a liar and how their prophet is a liar. Are you jealous of it? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? I can see you are so jealous. I can see you are so much jealous. But let me bring something to attention. Rebecca was not three. Muslims are not here that Rebecca was three. This is the faith you need to remember. Have you got an annual subscription? Sir, did you give your private part to Muhammad for to give you salvation? What is it with you? Did you give your private part to Muhammad to offer you salvation? In the Bible, show me the Trinity. You don't know what I'm talking nonsense. I'm just repeating what Muhammad said. So Muhammad was nonsense. Where does it say that? I'll show you. Show us, please. Don't lie, Aina. Don't make a noise. Always be Hayyina. Hayyina. In the hellfire, inshallah. Inshallah. You know, Akhwani, we have disbelievers. Allah, Muhammad, Rasulullah, disbelievers. You show her the truth. She still rejects the effort. Don't ever, ever even try having a challenge with her, even speaking to her or anything. Sahih Bukhari. Six thousand eight hundred seven. Where is that from? Where is that from? Sahih Bukhari. Show me. Show me. Show me. Six thousand eight hundred and seven. Muhammad said, "Shush, your prophet is speaking. Your prophet is speaking. You have no respect for your prophet. You have zero respect for your prophet." Muhammad said. Muhammad said. Muhammad said. So who am I going to ask? What is between his legs? Is that scripture? And what is between his shirt? I guarantee him paradise. What is it between your legs? 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 Show me, please. What is it between your legs? Can I see? You want to see what is between your legs? Go and check that in somewhere else. Muhammad says, whoever, Muhammad, let's laugh at Muhammad. Muhammad is so funny, guys. I know. He's just so funny. He's so funny. This is what Muhammad says. Whoever guarantees me what is between his leg and what is between his jaw, I guarantee him paradise. What is it between your legs? Muhammad wants it, sir. What is it between your why are you silent? What is it between your legs that Muhammad wants it? What is it between your legs that Muhammad wants it? You think Muhammad is so funny? Muhammad said, Muhammad is speaking. Muhammad is saying, whoever guarantees me what is between his legs. 
again. I know that face is very good face. Do it again. Do it again. Let's do it again. Whoever guarantees me what is between his legs, make the face again. Yeah, that's right face. What's going on? And what is between his jaw? I guarantee him paradise. So what is it between your legs that Mohammed wants it? You wrote that. Sorry? You wrote that. Show us between my legs. You want to show us. You have two books, but you never open the books. You always go to your screen shop. So, show us the book. Show us in the book. Show us the book. If you have Sahih Bukhari, show us the book. Show us Sahih Bukhari. Bring out a physical book. They are Bukhari. so afraid. They are so afraid of the sources. I gave you the reference. Check it out. Muhammad wants what is between your legs and what is between your jaws. And you come to speaker's corner and talk about the language of the Bible? <laughs> if I were you, I would climb that top of that tree and then ask the Gabriel to rescue you. Otherwise, you are going to throw yourself like Muhammad did from the mountains. <laughs> Muhammad is false prophet. You can mock. Jesus wasn't the son of God. You can mock. It's absolutely fine. But you cannot change what Muhammad said. When Muhammad said, give me what is between your legs, he meant it. You see many people leaving Christianity to become Islam. Yes. 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 Is that because Leave you want Muhammad to see what is between your private parts? Unless you pay them. I left Afghanistan full of planes to get away from Islam. Because because he's just about to out of our country. Because he's just about to out. Partition of the Ottoman Empire and everything. And the letters. The letters. Yes. I find it is very amazing. All right. It is very amazing. Muslims are mocking their own prophet. Can you hear the song? Listen. Listen the song. Can you hear? Oh, sorry, that was my dad here, this year. Can you hear the sound? Can you hear the sound? That's the sound of crushed bones of Muhammad by Muslims. Muhammad's bones are being crushed because Muslims are mocking their prophet. All I did was read what Muhammad said, and you mocked your prophet. You mocked your prophet. Liar. Muhammad is lying. When no, you're Muhammad, lying. I just read what Muhammad Let said. Me, I want you uh, uh, pull out Bukhari. Do you have a book of Sahih Bukhari? Bukhari 6807. Whoever guarantees me, this is Muhammad speaking. Listen carefully. Whoever guarantees me, what is between his leg? What is it between your legs that Muhammad wants that? Let me see. And what is between his jaws? Let me see. Muhammad wants that. Let's see the hadith. Have you noticed? This is not even addressed to woman. It is addressed to man. Muhammad. I don't know what he means, but it seems to me he is an inclination towards homosexuality. Muhammad wants. What is between the legs of man? Muhammad wants what is between jaws of man, not even woman. It is very much disturbing. Your eternity, if you give to Muhammad what is between your legs, that's not, that's not only for, that's not only for man, and that's not only for woman, but that's for men, and they run away. Did you get answer to your question? Did you get answer to the question? No. All you got is they mock their own prophet. They mock their own prophet, and they run away. Why? Because we all heard that the bones of Muhammad is being crushed. They turn Muhammad upside down from his grave by mocking him on the day of judgment. When Muhammad wants what is in your between your legs, I really hope that he won't remember this moment when you were making fun of your prophet. Just disgraceful. Just very much disgraceful. I'll tell you how you can get eternal life without offering what is between your legs, man. 
and also eternal life is offered not only for men but also offered for men for women by the death and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ eternal son of God gave himself on the cross for you so that you can repent so that you can turn to him so that you can have eternal life with him he doesn't want what is between your legs he doesn't want that he wants your heart he wants he is already expresses he is yours he wants you to identify him as his that's all he's asking that's all he's asking he did everything all needed to be done it's already been done by his death and his resurrection you don't need to offer your private part or your tongue to anyone to get eternal life give up that false ideology called islam not taking you to anywhere beside hell see see it's not only they turn muhammad upside down from his grave still they are mocking they are still mocking it should all crush the heart of muslims that today once again they are ashamed of their prophet they are ashamed of their prophet bible tells us in the beginning when before there was anything before there was even not beginning yet god the father is loving his son in the fellowship of holy spirit and that god who is full of love who is full of care and concern sees his people running away from him you are running away from him to different religions different ideologies different gods even different objects and he comes he comes and does something for you father out of the love sends his one and only son that one and only son can give his life for you so that you can have life with him with his death and resurrection lord jesus christ offered you all you need him himself he offered you himself and he wants you he says my voice is so powerful it it will give it will raise the dead his, his voice is so powerful it holds all universe but not only his power his heart is so beautiful his heart screams out for you his heart runs after you he himself wants you he wants you to turn to him he wants you to accept him as your lord and as your savior there is nothing you can add there is nothing you can give because lord jesus christ gave everything so that you can have life and life in him there is no any other way people seriously there is no any other way